Hello everybody and thank you so much for coming back to my channel. My name is Riley. You may know me as Honey Rags and I'm a full-time reseller. I resell anything and everything. Um, clothing, shoes, vintage home goods, Amazon, customer return palettes, all that sort of stuff. I'm going to show you guys a quick clothing haul today. I'm just recording it on my cell phone so I'm not doing anything special. Um, I'm completely out of breath because I've been running around all day. Uh, people think that reselling is like, oh, you get to go thrifting for a living and then wrap up cute packages, but it's, I'm a mess. I'm doing, I'm doing too much. Um, so anyway, I'm going to show you guys the shoes and accessories and I'm going to show you guys the clothing. So I always say this, but just excuse the clutter. Um, I have this pile of this stuff right here is stuff that I have to ship out because these are items that sold. Um, I found another Kate Spade bag at the bins. This is actually a Kate Spade diaper bag. You can see the little bottle holders in it. Unfortunately, like Kate Spade, the resale rate is not what it used to be, but I, I'm going to try to get like $30 out of that one. Um, I found this really cool. This is actually a vintage handbag. It's like a leather bucket bag and it's leather um, and canvas, but it has these cute little deer on it. So I'm probably going to try to sell that for around 30 as well. This is really cool. So this was actually from a regular Goodwill. I paid $4 for it. Um, it's like an abstract. I know, there, what is the name of this art form? Can someone tell me um, so I can put it in the tag for the title? <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to list it for yet. I found these kids Sorel boots. Probably list those around 25 to 30. I found these women's Columbia snow boots. Now I just washed some of these and I put suede cleaner on them so it's a little bit patchy but they should dry up and lighten in color a little bit. These are 200 gram. Um, I don't know where it's at. Yeah, 200 gram. I'll probably try to get about $40 out of those. I found these men's keen steel toed work boots. Uh, the comps on these were anywhere from $40 to $100. I'm going to go closer to like the probably $80, $90 range, honestly, because they're in really nice condition. Um, I found these Jambu uh, Mary Janes. So Jambu sells consistently for me around $25. However, they also have a line called J41 and JBU. This is an example of JBU, which is a branch of Jambu. And the JBU line and the J41 line do not sell that well for me. But these are actually, they have a little bit of like piling here but I'm gonna um take a fabric shaver to it these are wool slip-ons so I these are an exception um I'll try to get about $20 out of these these are men's morel shoes these are actually older morel I think because of the label but they're not outdated at all and they're actually in like these are trendy right now so probably gonna try to get like $28 out of those you guys like my shipping table we paid like $400 for this table from Home Depot, which was actually a good price, but it's really nice. I'm getting off track here, but look at, we like it's totally ruined because we're just, we're just like barbarians when we wrap things. Um, these are Cole Haan Grand Dot OS shoes. I find Cole Haan, okay, I don't pick up Cole Haan, but I will pick up Gr Cole Haan Grand Dot OS, OS, whatever. Um, because, uh, for some reason that line sells for me, um, these are suede. So I'll probably try to get like $28 out of these. These are something I normally wouldn't pick up. I do not pick up, um, slip-ons or slip-on. What are these called? Clogs. Unless they have like a pattern like Dansko and Sunita shoes, but these are actually Columbia and I'm, I'm going to try my luck out with them. I just put leather conditioner on them to clean them up a bit, but they're still a little bit splotchy. So I might have to go over them again. Probably going to try to get 25 out of these. This is a brand new with tags, dead stock, um, 1990s Detroit Pistons hat, probably going to list around 25. This is a really cool, I'm guessing mid-century porcelain hamburger patty um, jar. Like how, come on, I'd put Taco Bell condiments in here. Like this is so cute. And then I also found this really cool um, mid-century modern, like what is this, a gazelle um, vase. I paid 99 cents for it and I'm going to try to get about 30 out of this and maybe like 28 for the hamburger. Okay. So now we are moving on to my other shoe rack for the shoes that have to be processed and listed still. I'm going to try to go through these quicker. Um, these are, oof, these are Taos, T-A-O-S shoes. These always sell for me, um, around the $30 range. These ones are a little bit more plain. So I'm going to list them around like 26. 
Um, I picked up these Keen boots. Unfor they're really nice. I got them at the bins, but unfortunately there's like scuffing and discoloration at some parts. So I'm probably just going to list them around $40. I also found this pair of Keen boots from the bins. These are in better condition, so I'll probably list them closer to 50 or 60 because, um, because of that style. These are some Tevas that I picked up. They're kind of in crappy condition, to be honest, but I'm going to try to get like 20 bucks out of them on Poshmark. I picked up, you guys, can you guys hear my breathing? My, my hefty girl breathing because I am so out of shape lately, especially now that it's getting warmer out. Okay. Um, these are Kush shoes. Uh, I usually do not pick up Kush unless they are leather walking shoes, but these ones made the cut because they're in really nice condition and they're from the bins. Um, probably sell those for about $22. I picked up these Columbia boots. These are a uh, basic black style. So I, I think I, I'll get around 25 for them. I picked, these are really cool. I picked up these Croc boots. So Croots, can we call them Croots? Um, or is that obnoxious? Anyway, these are really cool Croc boots. I've sold a pair of Croc boots around 25 before. So I'm going to try to do the same. They weigh almost nothing. So I probably paid like $1.50 for them at the bins. These are men's Chaco work boots. Um, comps on these are anywhere between like $40 and $90 but I have to do a little bit more research because those are in really nice condition. Moving on to these, these are Patagonia slip-ons. I picked them up at the bins. I saw Patagonia. I didn't think twice and I brought them home. Um, under further inspection, which didn't take, you know, anything special because look at them. I realized they're in pretty crappy condition. I might try to like buff this out on this rubber here, but I don't know, it might be a lost cause. Um, if I can buff that out, I'll try to get like 25 out of them. And here's what I'm talking about when I say cush leather walking shoes um these ones still need to be conditioned a little bit better in some spots but these sell consistently for me around 28 dollars. i'm not even going to pull these out because you guys all know what classic uggs look like but these are classic pink uggs that i got at the bins i'll probably try to sell around 25 to 28 dollars. these are teva i want to say these are probably like hiking shoes um these are in really nice condition. I'll probably list those around 50. Maybe, maybe that's too high. I'm not sure. I also picked up these Keen classic chunky style walking shoes. Uh, I really like the color, so I'm going to try to get like 30 out of those. And then I picked up these Keen, um, these are probably more like work boots. Maybe they're hiking boots or hiking shoes. Either way, I'll probably, I don't know what I'm going to list those for you actually. Now, moving on to the clothes. Um, I already said that. I'm horrible at video transitions. I'll just keep repeating myself <laughs> until I feel comfortable enough that you guys have gotten the point. Found this new tags, anthropology tags, Maeve dress. You guys know if you're <laughs> if you're regulars to my channel, Maeve dresses are a hard sell. I can sell their tops, tank tops, cardigans, all I can sell all of that very easily, but their dresses are hard for me to sell. But this was new with Hags, and it's just a really hard brand for me not to pick up. This is a Torrid, really nice, lightweight. I want to call this like almost a summer blazer, if that's a thing, because this is very lightweight. I think this is a linen blend. Torrid is very saturated. I find it quite a bit. I do like picking it up if it's a, if it's a piece like this or a dress. Torrid dresses sell well for me around $25. Um, this is a Christian Dior men's. Ivory button up. Obviously, it's really plain, but it was at the bins, and I'm not going to pass up Christian Dior, even if it's not at the bins. Um, so I'll, I don't know what I'm going to list this for yet. It's an older piece. I'll be lucky to get 30 out of it. This is really cool. Christian Dior jacket. So this is an older jacket. However, I looked up the comps on older Christian Dior jackets. This is wool line. Look at this bad boy. Um, I think I will. It's, I'm going to list it probably a little over a hundred maybe more it's hard because I've sold I found an old Burberry jacket that I thought I was going to be able to sell for like three hundred dollars and I only sold it for like sixty nine seventy dollars um so I don't know I have to look up comps and uh, study this one a little bit more but it's in, it's in really nice condition this um this is the hundreds so you can find comps on the hundreds graphic tops that have sold on eBay for like nine dollars with free shipping which obviously is not worth it um but some uh, did i just scream into my phone i'm so sorry guys but some of their pieces um depending on the graphic can go like 15 20 used i'm gonna try this one out around 20. 
I found these at the bins. 3.1 by Philip Leem Lim. Um, they're nice silk pants. You guys notice anything? I mean, they look normal, right? You guys notice anything like down here? Because this is this is trashy of me, but I cut these with kitchen scissors because once I brought them home, I realized they were so tattered at the bottom, and the bottom had like a elastic jogger thing and all I could do to salvage them was just cut them off. Obviously I'm not going to sell them like this. I'm just going to roll them up a little bit and then use my sewing machine to um like make a nice clean uh fold. But I think they'll still sell. Uh obviously I'll disclose that I altered them, but I don't know, maybe like $25 because they're silk. This is a good one. Canada Goose um Canada Goose clothing sells used from like 50 to 100 200 dollars this piece um i still have a little bit of work to do on but i think i'll be able to get like 70 dollars out of this vest i'm skipping this one because it's a long story and it was actually a return um that was totally my fault it had a flaw i fixed it so now i'm gonna relist it i, I ended up telling you guys exactly what i did anyway this is what is this this is really cool emily and finn brand i've never heard of but look at this print. It's art easels, paint easels. It's a little dress. And I could not, I didn't care if this was a $10 new brand. I knew I was going to pick this up because I personally, I'm an artist. I like to think so. And I love this. And I looked up the brand and they're kind of known for their really cool prints. And um, I think I'll be able to get about $30 out of that one. This one's cool. If I can, this is a... 1970s butterfly retro pattern. I'm gonna show you guys all the way to the bottom dress. And it has this really interesting neck that I'm not going to attempt to show you guys, but it's like a halter neck. It's just, guys, this is really cool, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. Um, I'll probably list that around $50. So this is a Toad & Co top. Um, we're getting a little stuffed here, so it's harder to show you guys, but this is a Toad & Co top. Um, a button down tunic. So Toad and Co is now, um, what is, oh my God. Yeah, this is a newer one. Okay. So this is actually, this used to be, this brand used to be called Horny Toad and now it's Toad and Co. So this is an insect shield piece. So I think I'll be able to get $30 out of it because of the insect shield. This is a good brand to keep your eyes out for outdoor research. Sorry, this is probably my dog's hair. That's embarrassing. I don't ship things with hair in them. So please don't. This is not my dog's hair. My dog is a basset hound. She does not have nice fluffy white hair like that. Um, anyway, that was irrelevant. So Outdoor Research is a really good brand to pick up. This is a woman's. I think I'm going to take a little um, shaver to this to get these little lint balls out. But I think I'll list this around $40. I had to um, clear the rack because they were so packed together. I couldn't even show you guys the garments. This is a Title IX UV protection material dress. Um, Title IX sells anywhere from $20 to $60, depending on the piece. It's all across the board. So I think I'm going to get about $35 out of this one because it is that nice UV protection material that you can wear at the beach. This is a Columbia top. Um, I usually do not pick up Columbia pieces unless they're shoes. Uh, but this was at the bins and it is brand new with tags. So I think I'm going to try to get about $40 out of this. These are really cool. I've never seen silver overalls before. So these are silver brand. I'll show you guys the back pockets and you'll realize, oh yeah, that's silver. Um, so I do not pick up silver anymore unless it's a special style. Um, however, look at these overalls. These were actually at the bins and one of my bin buddies handed them to me because he doesn't sell women's clothing and he has a good eye for it. So thank you, Jesse, for the silver overalls. I have not comp searched them yet, but I'm I'm sure they're I'm sure the comps are pretty good. This is a brand that always sells for me, Charlie and Robin. I believe it's also an anthropology brand, but not anthropology exclusive. Um this is a wool jacket. Um hold on, we have a creeper. She wants him so bad. Do you want to come inside? Do you want to <laughs> Okay, hold on guys, let me take a break. You were only outside for 5 minutes. You were only outside for five minutes. How come you interrupted my video? <laughs> I know, I know. I'm sorry, I'll never leave you out there again. <laughs> sorry about that, guys. I have a very emotional dog. Um, and her needs emotionally need to be met at all costs. 
This is an Acme and Kin top. Always sells for me. Um, this is this is an odd one. Um, it looks like this is a bit stretched out. I don't know if it should be. However, I have no problem moving Acme and Kin. I'll probably try to sell this one around twenty dollars. This is a pair of J McLaughlin. I always, I always sell this brand. Always moves for me. J McLaughlin. These are actually swim trunks for women. I think I'll be able to get about 25 out of these. This is a really cool piece. So this is white. White by Vera Wang. Where's the tag? Right here. White by Vera Wang, which I think is like actually her wedding line, her bridesmaid dress line. Uh, so I looked up the comps because obviously like Vera Wang, simply by Vera Wang pieces, I don't try to even sell anymore because they would not move. But um, this, the comps, excuse me, I can't talk. What am I doing? The comps on this, on dresses like these were pretty good. Um, around 50 to a hundred dollars, sometimes even more. So it also has this pretty black belt that goes around it or this like ribbon belt, you could say. So it's, it's going to look a lot better on the mannequin than, um, well, I can give it justice right now on a hanger. This is a moth top. Uh, moth always sells to me also. It's a sweater, so I might sit on it for a while because, you know, it's getting warmer out. But it's worth sitting on because moth always sells around 25 to 30 for me. Sometimes some of their pieces sell for like 18, 20. So, I mean, you know, do your, do your research. This is J. Jill Love Linen. So I picked this up because it's Love Linen. Um, some of their Love Linen pieces sell quickly for me around 20 to $22. I like this piece just because of the tiny little details throughout. Um, probably going to try to sell this for about $20. This is a Prana Bodycon long sleeve dress. Probably going to try to sell around 30. This is REI Women's. REI is an outdoors brand, outdoorsy brand that sells really well for me also. Um, I'll probably try to sell this around $28. I have more than I thought I did. So this is a vintage, vintage Lacoste. Look at that old tag. Um, it is a little bit, like there's a bit of wash wear. It's hard to tell. Um... So unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to sell it for like $30 or anything like that or, or $40. But it has like a tie waist and it's actually a button down mini dress. So I'm probably going to try to get like $24 out of it. This is a soft surroundings piece. This is their older label, but I found it at the bins and I really like the bottom. It reminds me of Sacred Threads, which is another brand that I always pick up. So I'll probably list this around $22. You guys heard, I'm sure you've heard that I stopped selling North Face I mean, I didn't stop selling it. I, I leave it behind now because there's so much of it. But this was at the bins, and I really like this um, fur lining. It's reversible. I actually think this might be a youth size, but I'm a woman's large, and this fit me almost perfectly. So it'll probably fit like woman's medium to be safe, but I'll obviously disclose that in the listing. We lost one. Okay, I found this knitted and knotted vest knitted and knotted also sells pretty well for me i haven't found one of their vests before like a vest um cardigan with an open front gonna try to get about 25 out of this here's another good example of a vintage lacoste um when i picked this up this was at the bins and it had i mean the armpits were stained there is just a little bit of residue I, there was, I think, blood stains, like from a bloody nose or something, all down the back. I put this through three wash cycles, and I used so much um, OxyClean on it, but I actually saved the entire piece. Like, it's it's in great condition. So that was worth um, all the effort I put into it, even though I'm probably only going to get like 25 out of it. Foxcroft. I do not pick up Foxcroft button-ups anymore. Even though they do sell, there's just too many of them. The market's too saturated. But this is like a Foxcroft jacket. I haven't seen um, any of their jackets. So I think I'll be able to get about 30 for this. And this is another North Face piece. Like I said, I don't pick it up unless it's at the bins. There's always an exception. Because this was at the bins, I'm going to try to list it around 22. Oh, this is a good one. This is a Patagonia. I don't know it's not a capoline but it's a patagonia um i don't even know what this is it must be some sort of base layer but it looks like something that you could wear to like a nine to five office job so i don't know i'll look up the comps on that and this is a theory you guys all know what theory tag looks like i think 
Um, yep, just a classic theory tag. It has a dry cleaning label on it. But this is actually a jumpsuit. If this were a dress, I would have left it behind. But I've never found a theory jumpsuit. And jumpsuits are still on trend right now. So I think I'll be able to get about $30 out of that. So if you guys have made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I always say this, but it helps the algorithm if you guys watch until the end. I'm going to leave a link down below in the description to my website, honeyragsco.com. I'm also going to leave a link down below in the description to my Instagram, honey.rags. Um, I post there almost daily so you guys can keep up with me if you have an Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. Happy selling, happy thrifting, and stay safe.